guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I'm making a super fun video for you guys. So, um, as many of you know, I have gotten like super into fountain pens. I mean, it was, I was into them when I was a little kid, like cool pens and fountain pens, but you know, just couldn't afford them. So in my brain, I was doing like imaginary writing with what it would be like to have a fountain pen or a quill pen. But now um, that I am adulting and I can afford my dreams, <laughs> like fountain pens, um, I wanted to share them with you uh, because not only like, uh, you know, to say, hey, here's my pens, but to tell you guys that I use this in my magical practice. Uh, you might be wondering, like, what, what do fountain pens have anything to do with, like, witchy stuff or, you know, any sort of spiritual or magical practice? And well, many of you know that I like to write down what I do for my spell work or my altar work. I like to write down my affirmations. I like to write down magical words or uh, quotes that really inspire me. I like to um, you know, write down um, certain goals I have for the month and I put it in my manifestation box. And I want it to feel magical. I mean, obviously my intention is going into it and I am the magical practitioner. So the magic is, you know, coming through me from source. Um, and, but the, the actual tactile motion of it, you know, I want something, you know, fancy that feels, that feels magical in my hands uh, to be able to write down you know, that particular spell or that particular, um, you know, uh, affirmation or whatever it may be that I'm doing at my altar. Um, and as many of you know, I'm super colorful and that's because I use color magic. You know, it's like I have rainbow everything. I mean, even just kind of looking at my pens before we even really dive into them. I love uh, working with particular colors, like I might use the color red for certain, you know, spell works or things, and so I would write it in the color red, or maybe I'm working on some throat chakra stuff or releasing, you know, of the throat chakra, I might use a lot of blues or maybe a darker blue or a lighter blue, depending on um, what my intention is for that spell. So uh, this video, just letting you know that the reason I have these things is not only because they're pretty and they're fun to write with, uh, but because when I'm using them for my magical practice, I want something that feels magical in my hands. I want the ink color to reflect what it is that I'm working with. So just kind of, you know, a little FYI. Okay. So I have my main journal here, which was actually um, handmade by Modest Goods. It's a family owned company on Etsy. Um, they make these to order, so they, they take a little while. Um, but uh, this has kind of a rough type paper, you know, because it's meant to look aged. So I have to make sure that my pens throw out a lot of ink uh, and that the ink I do use um, is is rather wet you know you might think well some inks aren't they all wet well some of them come out a little drier in pens than others so I've like learned so much about paper like you know sometimes cheap paper doesn't work well with all pens and all inks and sometimes they need a thicker paper and sometimes thicker paper you know vice versa all that stuff um, but anyway so let's take a look at the first thing here so this is actually a glass pen and I got this from the, oops, maybe you can see it here, uh, the Victoria Trading Company. It says spell inks designed exclusively for the witch's moon. So yes, I got this from the witch's moon. And at first I was like, what the heck? Like, how do I even use um, a glass pen? And it took me a while because I was like trying to write with it for my spell work and everything. And it just like wasn't working until I actually figured out how to write with the thing. Um, but, uh, here it is and it has all these little grooves here. And so when you dip your ink or your pen in your ink, let's say it was something like this. And all of these are for particular types of spell work and they all have, um, I don't know if you can see on the top here, they all have a sigil that's been placed on top of it to enchant it. Uh, and then the wax seal for some color magic, it's actually sealed to the cap, you know, so I can still open it, you know. Um, but this one is for enchanting something, giving something a little bit of an extra boost. But basically you take your um, pen and you dip it inside and the little grooves suck it up. Um, and then I like to write with it down here. Some people write up here. Um, but then when you write things out, uh, it comes out nice and fine. 
nice and magical. If you want, you can add maybe like some herbs and things like this. These are uh, dipping inks, which are not good for fountain pens. So there is a difference. So, you know, just be careful, you know, that if you have some fountain pens, maybe don't use these inks because they're actually meant for pens like this. Um, but, uh, you know, really good for, for all of that. So actually I have a little, little piece of paper here and it does get <laughs> the, this is, uh, the psychic ink, but, oh, and I think you can see the little sigil up top. Ah. But anyway, it has a little stopper in here and I got ink on my fingers, but it's quite the badge of honor. All right. So I would do a little dip, a little tap, and I write, might write something like, I love you guys. And you can rotate your pen to get more ink out of the grooves. So there you go. Something just like that. <laughs> it comes out nice and yay, you're writing with glass. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is uh, from the Victoria Trading Company. This is the glass pen. And uh, I saw some glass pens online for just a few dollars, you know, so like three or four dollars, you can have a glass pen um, and you can use it in your magical practice. So maybe even look up the Victoria Trading Company. Uh, you can even check out the Witch's Moon Moon Market. Um, and see if they have any more of these glass pens, but I got this a few years ago. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and let's take a look at these pens. All of these pens already have ink in them. Um, my first pen, as you guys already know, I showed it off in my blog, uh, is the Twisby Eco, and these are made in Taiwan. The ink in here I have is actually a Noodle Noodler's Lightning Blue ink. It to me kind of looks like hemimorphite blue, really good for throat chakra stuff and for me to put into words things that I'm feeling. Uh, so if I'm writing in my journal and it's hard for me to express myself, let's say verbally, um, I kind of focus on the ink in here. I focus on my throat chakra um, and it's easier for the words to flow out. Um, this nib that's on here is a 1.1 stub nib, which means it's a little bit more forgiving um, for people who don't write bougie. I'm <laughs> far from a very talented like calligrapher or anything like that. So I can write at my awkward angles and it still tends to flow rather well. Um, so let me show you a little writing sample here. Let's. Let's get back down here and I'll just write the same sentence again, but maybe So I love you guys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, so very nice, like I said, really good for throat chakra. And that was my Twisby Eco. Okay, so now let's take a look at one of my other pens. And actually this little thingy here, this little mason jar, um, they're very cheap, you know, to get little mason jars, but actually uh, James had gotten a lot of this batting um, in a crystal shipment that he received. So I used some of it to kind of cushion the pens down here at the bottom. Um, I just added a little bit of twine, you know, that I had left over. And I also have these little charms that I had laying around like love and I love you to the moon and back. And I thought they were just really sweet. Um, and it'd be nice uh, to kind of keep all my pens in. Okay, I have another Twisby here. This almost looks like it's exactly the same, but this is considered a Twisby Eco T. Um, and that's because the grooves are a little bit different uh, where you put your fingers. So like it's a little bit more of a, a trainer, like it trains you to write better. <laughs> um, but anyway, the ink that I have in here is called Hellfire, but it's actually hot pink. And for me, this is like expression of the heart chakra, just like exploding with passion, almost like wands energy in the tarot. So if I'm looking to jot down some ideas of things that I wanna do with Desert Cauldron or things I wanna do with Kittens, Weights and Tarot or videos that I wanna make, this is the pen that I wanna use. Again, you know, using color magic um, and uh, also what's going on here. So the nib side is actually a broad nib 
um, which means it throws out a lot of ink because I want that color all over the place. You know, I'm manifesting like crazy. You know, I want all that color everywhere. Um, okay, so let's go back to our little little writing sample here. I'll put this on the back. And I'll say again, because it's true, I love every one. We'll do little hearts. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> um, but yeah, that hellfire is like super pink. Oh, I just realized I just did it in the colors of Kittens, Weights, and Tarot. Well, interesting. <laughs> Um, those are my colors, like purple, light blue, and pink, hot pink. Um, okay, I have one last Twisby in here just because I think the company makes some fabulous pens. Um, this was kind of a, a bougie type purchase, but this is a Twisby VAC 700R. Um, and it's VAC because it's it's like suction, it's vacuum. Um, the way that the ink comes into the um, pen through the nib. Well, nib and the feeder but anyway so here's my nib and I actually got this one in medium because I wanted you know if I was um, going to be doing lots of writing like let's say I'm writing out a whole entire spell and everything that's involved in it and everything um, I want to have I might write a little bit smaller and so I am using a medium for that um, and then the ink that's in here is called Apache Sunset and I think it really reflects the desert, you know, where I live here in Arizona. Um, so this is like anything I do with desert cauldron, you know, I'm using this pen, any spells I'm doing, cause now I'm in the desert, I am, I'm using this one. So, and of course I can change out the inks easily. It's not a problem, but I will say, I love our KWT. Family and heart. Maybe another one. Maybe another one. <laughs> so, okay, so that's Apache Sunset. And actually, it does have, uh, it's harder to see because it's a medium nib, but it does have that kind of sunset variation where it's yellows and oranges. And it's just super cool. All right. Um, some people are going to come across this video and like, so she's showing off pens. How exciting. You know, some people are going to get this. <laughs> some people are not. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I want to show off then maybe my Conklin. All right. So this is a Conklin All-American. Just There we go. Um, and it's in this turquoise blue. And actually it has it stamped here it's the all-american there we go they're not made in toledo ohio anymore but um that's where it was originally founded so uh, it still kind of says that all right so in my conklin all-american the ink that i have in here is called the l lawrence and it's actually um, a special uk um like collection for noodlers or that noodlers created um, and I think that was the one that, um, no, no, well, they make certain collections. And actually, the ones that I've showed you so far, the Lightning Blue, that was by Noodlers, the Hellfire, that's Noodlers. Um, and it's just because they make really good inks, but they're also really affordable. So like a huge, like, bottle of it, let's say a bottle like this is like $12.50. Um, but, uh, you know, certain other brands, they go crazy and that bottle will last you a long time. <laughs> so this one is more of kind of like an army green. Um, so again, heart chakra, but for me, it's also grounding as well. So it's root and heart. So if I'm going to be doing some shadow work type stuff and writings, um, I'm going to use something like this. But also the blue here is helping me with my expression. So this is all intentional, you guys. You know, everything that we have in our magical practice, this may look like, oh, she just has a bunch of colorful pens and oh, she's got some colorful inks. Like, mm, ah, every witch has their intention. Okay, so uh, this one, sometimes it takes a little while to, for the ink to get to the nib. Looks like it's there. Um, what I say? I love, oops, I was going into love you, <laughs> love you guys. 
always. And it might look almost black on camera, but it's a really, 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 really dark green, an army green. So it's like a green black almost. And I love the way this writes, it just flows. You go Conklin, you go. Um, some people talk about like flow and everything. I want mine to like glide across my pages and I want it still to have like a little bit of feedback, kind of like I'm writing with a pencil, but I want like a, a smooth, but it still kind of feels like I'm writing, like I still have contact with my paper um, because I like to be in my magical practice. I like to feel into it. I want to feel everything that I'm doing and that I'm creating. All right, uh, moving along, let's get into this one, Alami. So I was kind of against Alami because some people were like, oh, they don't work so well. Some people, it was like mixed reviews. Um, but anyway, so in this particular Alami, I have um, Black Swan and Australian Roses. Um, and that's one I really do want to get a bottle of. But uh, right now, I just have a sample amount in here. Um, if you open this up. Uh, well, I guess it's hard to see what black swan and Australian roses looks like. It's actually like almost like a magenta, like a brownish magenta. Um, but on this particular nib, this one is more for calligraphy. Um, so this is a 1.9 stub nib, uh, and I bought this separate. So it came with a Lamy broad nib, uh, but I bought this 1.9. Uh, because I want to do headings, like headings for my spells and for my book of shadows and, um, and also for my tarot spreads book that I'm doing because my tarot spreads book is kind of falling apart. So I'm transferring all of my spreads, um, just the ones that I use now because some of them are obsolete or I don't like them anymore. Um, so I'm creating my new spreads book and I'm using this for like all the headings and the titles because it has broader strokes. Um, and the black swan and Australian roses to me, uh, even though you might think it's more like heart chakra because of the burgundy to me, it's a uh, root chakra and crown chakra. So it's like connecting me from earth to, you know, source energy, um, because I'm using it for basically my spiritual practice, you know, my tarot spreads book, my, um, book of shadows, things like that. So that's, that's why I'm doing that. So I would put, I love mama. And I have to write a little bit slower because it's, um, oh, there we go. It's um, kind of broad. <laughs> Guy, uh, boop. And I might do like a little heart. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I love Mama Gaia. But yeah, it doesn't have such like a dusty rose kind of look. I think that's so cool. All right, um, let's move on to this pen, this beautiful uh, solar plexus looking pen. That's why my pens are all in different colors too, because again, color magic in the pen, it's in the ink, um, it's in the particular types of nibs that I, I'm using for whatever it is I'm doing in my spiritual practice, the notes that I'm writing, the thank you notes to you guys that are buying things from Kittens, Weights and Tarot or Desert Cauldron. Um, I like to use, you know, particular ink colors, you know, depending on the energy of the person, you know, that bought the item. And also I, I pick out a pen just for you and that's what I write your note in. So, you know, FYI, in case you're, you're wondering. So this one, um, actually I got this at an antique store. Um, I don't think it's actually antique, but, um, it's this beautiful yellow color. It's got these gold uh, dragons on it. And I looked it up. It's actually a Jin Hao 950. Um, but I do believe that this might be a knockout, knockoff of a Jin Hao 950. So, um, except that it's actually made of ceramic. So it's got the high quality <laughs> of a Jin Hao. Um, and it's, I mean, it's just missing some of the markings and stuff like that. So I do believe at some point somebody thought they were getting an actual, maybe Jin Hao 950. Maybe this is an actual one. And, you know, I, I just don't know. I don't know a lot about the Jin Hao's, um, but it comes from China. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's knockoff. However, when uh, I take the cap off, the nib was different than I saw on like other, let's say, knockoff uh, Jin House. This is a Genius Iridium uh, nib. Uh, they're not currently made in Germany anymore, but uh, sometimes they're still stamped with Germany. This is a fine tip nib. 
Um, and, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, I mean, I, I got it for 25 bucks. Um, it's got a lot of weight to it because it's made of like metal and ceramic. Um, and it actually is like, it's really well made, so I'm not sure, but who cares? Who cares if it's knockoff or not? If it writes well and it's got the color magic I need, who cares? So, um, here, let's see, uh, whoops, maybe I'll zoom back out a little bit. You can see this has a finer nib. In here, I have Tiananmen. Uh, Tiananmen is a beautiful red, so. I'm just saying, I love my KWT family. I'll put like a little happy face and a little heart. <laughs> so it's just a, a beautiful kind of brownish red. I think it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, a finer nib, uh, really good for uh, journaling and lots of prolonged writing, I think. Um, especially when um, I'm needing to put some power into things and I'm uh, protruding from my solar plexus. Um, and if I want to add in some of that solar energy, I think this is really good. All right, last but certainly not least was a big purchase for me. And this was the, or is the Monteverde Innova. And on the back here, you could see that this is the 20th anniversary edition. It came in a bougie special box. I ended up keeping the box. It's actually made of carbon fiber um, and it's uh, been coated in titanium, kind of like what they do with crystals when they coat like quartz crystals in um, titanium. The thing, same thing has been done with this. So to me, it was like kind of reminiscent of crystals. And down here, the ANOVA, it tells you what um, limited edition number you have. So I have number 990 out of 1999 because 1999 was the year that the company was founded. And well, I am from the graduating class of 1999, so yay. <laughs> um, okay, so this has just a little pop-off cap, but you can see it has a, has a little bit bougier nib. It's a darker nib. Um, this one I got in medium because again, I wanted this to be more for writing out lots of stuff for like my spell work and, um, lots of things in my journals and in my book of shadows. Um, and the multicolor I felt was just like really, really good connection to source energy. So let's do a, let's little, do a little sample. I know that my, my pen geeks are, are geeking out over here. So <laughs> I love to watch pen videos. Other people are like, what is Tara doing? Um, so I'm just gonna write, um, let me get the, let the ink get to here first. I love you guys. And actually for a medium nib, this throws out a lot of ink. So it just kind of depends on the company and sometimes the ink that's in it. Um, the ink that I'm using is actually the Anova Black that came with this pen. So, oops. There we go, snap it back on. It's got a nice little snap. All right, moving back out. Okay, so those are the pens. Those are the pens that I use. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lovely pens. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of different inks. So we have the inks that of course came uh, with my glass pen from the Witch's Moon. Um, but here's some actual fountain pen inks. Uh, this one is exactly like the Noodler's Lightning Blue, just maybe a little bit different, but to me it resembles Hemimorphite, which is my favorite crystal. Um, and so I do use, uh, I work with Hemimorphite, but it's like if you could put your favorite crystal into a pen and it's like you're writing with the energy of that crystal, that's to me this. So this is a 100th anniversary limited edition. Um, it's created by Pilot, but it says, uh, it says Ibisu, um, and this is light blue. Um, so looks very much like the blue that you saw here. Um, okay, this next one is the one that came with my um, 20th anniversary Monteverde Inova, and this is the black Inova ink. Um, that came with it and you guys saw that here that's that nice dark dark black ink this one's unusual 
um, because this actually comes from the 1940s and you guys know that I'm always thrift store shopping, antiquing, um, so that I can find witchy items that I can repurpose and make even more magical and we can put that into desert cauldron but also in my personal practice and this is a Waterman's ink. Waterman's is still around uh, but this is a blue black ink um, and I opened it for the first time actually on my Instagram stories so it hasn't been opened in almost 80 years. Um, so this is like almost as old as my dad. My dad's 81 because he was born in 1940. But yeah, this is from early 1940s. So this is like legit kind of around World War II, like towards the end of World War II when this was created. So it's like a little bit of history. It had that little like air pop when I finally got this rusty thing off. Um, still full of ink and the ink is perfect. It writes beautifully. I'm just using it with a glass pen for now because I'm not sure if there's any impurities that have gotten into it and I'm afraid to kind of put that through my fountain pens, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blue um, and history. So <laughs> I, I love old things and I like using old things and people are like, oh, well, wouldn't you want to save this forever? And I'm like, well, I can't take it to my grave. Like I'm here, let's use it. Let's, I'm, I'm not about saving things you know I'm not like preserving tarot decks like even if it was a really expensive tarot deck um, if something's so expensive I, I'm not going to use it I'm not going to buy it because I want to use it I think things are meant to be used fancy cars meant to be driven you know inks meant to be used tarot decks meant to be used you know so I'm I'm not a preserver kind of person I keep things looking nice yes but I don't just let things sit around because I think that that creates stagnant energy and I'm all, all about flow, hence the flow of my fountain pens. Okay, so this here is an, a Noodlers 54th Massachusetts. Many of the Noodlers brands have a bit of history and politics wrapped up into their inks, uh, literally wrapped up into their inks. <laughs> um, so there's some awesome quotes that are around here, but this is a great, great um, blue. So it's a kind of like a, a dusty blue ink and it's very saturated so it works on um, really thick paper it would really smear and feather if it were on this think um, think thin um, inkjet paper so it's meant more for for thicker stuff and for pens that throw out a lot of ink um, these other two inks that I'm about to show you were actually gifts these were gifts from um, my girl the steel wheel witch um, so, or sorry, not the steel wheel, the silver wheel, which, cause I'm thinking of steel nibs and pardon me, but she sent me this lovely gift. So this is um, the blue ghost. It's actually um, black light ink and I've been using it. It's so freaking cool. I think I'm gonna send a mystery note to my best friend and she'll think that I sent her a blank paper, but I'm gonna be like, hey, you need to use a black light. I don't know if she has a black light. Maybe I should ask about that first, but this is really, really awesome. It's, um, you have to kind of write fast while the ink is still wet so you can kind of see where you wrote and what you wrote. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe just write under a black light. Um, but that's also created by Noodlers. My other Noodlers ink here is the Noodlers Black and that also came from the Silver Wheel Witch. Um, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful black. Um, and not all blacks are, you know, created equal. Like some of them are more bulletproof. Some of them are just meant to be waterproof. Some of them are laser proof, like, uh, you know, to prevent forgery and stuff like that. Some of them have a blue tint when they dry. Some have more of a purple tint. Some have a browner tint. Um, this is like, you're looking into the void. You're looking into the darkness. So if I were, let's say, working on something dealing with the underworld or my shadows or Hecate or anything like that, maybe a dark goddess, this is your this is your ink okay so you might be wondering what all these little vials are that are here um, and these are called sample inks and so um, let's say you didn't want to shell out the seven dollars sometimes twelve dollars for a big bottle of ink um, because you're not sure about the color because you know that sometimes it's hard to get true color looking at a computer screen well, if you go to goulaypens.com, uh, I don't know if other companies do this, but I buy from Goulet and I buy from Jet Pens. Um, 
but he does ink samples and some of the samples are like a dollar some are a dollar 25 some are a dollar 50 some of the more expensive inks might be like two dollars for a sample but basically you can buy all these dollar something samples and then and when you get them like this one's actually been used so there's less in here um so you can get this sample um and uh it pretty much can fill up an entire pen twice on on some of them some of them that have bigger ink capacities maybe only once but you get a lot of writing out of it and i think you can really decide whether or not you like that color if that's appropriate for what you're going for for your practice or particular you know color magic or chakra or you know whatever it is that you're doing and then you can decide hey okay i'm gonna shell out the 12 bucks or the 20 dollars or whatever it is for that bottle of ink so you know you only spend like a dollar something deciding if you like something so i think that that's really cool so these are all just kind of like my samples right now so far i do have you know a few faves uh, one of them is this henry david throw it's kind of like a like a green like a blue green it's it's pretty awesome uh, another one that um i like well nitrogen is cool but um, but there's there's tons of little ones here. Um, the Heliogen Green Copper is, is one that I think I would get a big bottle of. But now I have a few that I can decide, okay, I'm going to get big bottles of them. Oops, let's just throw the ink around because why not? Um, this one is actually super, let's see if you guys can catch it on camera. Oh, you can't because there's not enough light in the room. Oh, there you can. It's super glittery it's pink and it's glittery and it's super awesome like oh heart chakra oh roses oh my goodness um like if I was doing some like love spell work like um maybe for relationships or self-love or something like oh that is I'm gonna buy a bottle of that I think that would really help especially when I'm writing up stuff for um, desert cauldron like sometimes I'll write out some of the spells for people if they buy my spell kits I think that would be be really good for the Aphrodite I think yeah that that pink glitz is like woo. okay so let me go ahead and put this back but that's it you guys though that is my pen collection my inks that I have um, and I just wanted to let you know how I use it in my magical practice that it's not just you know buying a bunch of fancy pens and having a bunch of pretty inks but i actually use them for magic i'm using them for spell work i'm using them for particular um intentions when i'm, I'm just journaling um you know if i want to write from a particular chakra it's much easier for me to do that when i have all these different colors and it's a lot of fun um so yeah give it a go um even if you just have ballpoint pens laying around maybe you have different colored ballpoint pens or gel pens and you can do pretty much the same thing i just happen to like fountain pens for um their durability um, plus just the way they feel they feel very magical to me um, and sometimes you don't have to shell out a lot of cash some fountain pens are like six dollars um, and I believe like pilot makes like six and seven dollar pens and sometimes they make like three hundred dollar pens um, so it all depends kind of <laughs> depends get it <laughs> on your budget um, and um, just what your intention is what is your purpose uh, do you work with color magic do you need something this that feels like a freaking magic wand but you're riding with it you know so I'm curious to know your guys's thoughts do you do something similar do you have um, maybe suggestions that I can incorporate into my practice yeah I want to hear from you guys but that's it from you spiritual homies I hope you dug this if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this and if you want to catch a reading from me head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com have a lot of different types of readings um, as well as my room of body sprays that I make my salves that I make um, and also my Wally's World Oracle that I have created so uh, definitely check that out but if you're looking for more of the witchy type stuff then you want to check out Desert Cauldron it's a, a little tarot or a little witchy story that was created by James and I um, we have a lot of things that are handmade by us and a lot of one-of-a-kind things because uh, some stuff just doesn't exist anymore but we you know have enchanted them we've made them uh, useful for a magical practice um, and some things are made by local artisans especially um, our um, off of our local reservations around here because there are a lot of reservations here in Arizona 
Um, and we also have some things that were handmade uh, from afar. So we have one of a kind items for your one of a kind practice. Come dance in the desert with us over at Desert Cauldron. Also check us out on the Instagrams at desert.cauldron. Oftentimes we'll place items there first because it's cheaper for us to send an invoice through PayPal um, than it is to list it on Etsy. And at the same time, it's cheaper for you guys. So uh, definitely check us out there. And all my other information is down below for my newsletter, for uh, my Leon Mystery School, for my Patreon group where I do special like live chats and crystal grids and channeled guidances and readings and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything's down below. And that's it for me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.